so here's a case where this dog has, for the, for the most part, been trained to kennel using positive methods. We don't know what happened to him before he came to his owner. So he could have some trauma associated with the kennel. Um, usually, he goes right in, no problem. But today, he's showing some signs of aversion. I threw some kibble in there. He keeps looking at the kibble like he wants to get it, but he's still sitting there looking like, I don't want to. And so, what a lot of people end up doing is just grabbing the dog and shoving them in because we're probably late for work or we feel like, well, he knows and he's just being stubborn. What I see is a dog that's having emotions about the kennel. See? His sister went in there. Look at him. Yeah. Good boy! So if you can possibly just wait for the dog to make their own decision, and if they've been trained appropriately, they'll, nine times out of ten, they'll make the right decision. Nibby, <laughs> are you in the way? <clears throat> it's a boy. And I'm going to praise him, even though he didn't go in there. Because he's clearly having some emotions about this, right? Maybe he feels it's scary. Maybe he heard a, a loud sound last night, and it scared him, and he couldn't couldn't get out of his kennel. You know, there's there's so many reasons. Good boy! I'm gonna go get him a treat. Because I don't have any. Because I thought we were past this, but I'm just gonna grab a little bit of kibble. <clears throat> but I mean this is you'll hear trainers say work with the dog you have in front of you and this is exactly what they mean so even though this dog normally kennels beautifully for some reason he's struggling with it today see he's we have no idea what happened to him last night right like something could have scared him and he wasn't able to escape because he's in a kennel right we have no idea so rebuilding the happy feelings. You can see when Libby goes in there, he's more comfortable. I really want to just wait until he puts his whole body in there before I give him any sort of reward. Because I know, <laughs> I know he's capable, even though he's having some emotions today. hard today, sweetie? Yeah. <clears throat> and another reason, aside from just using kinder methods, another reason why you wouldn't want to just grab the dog and bring them in there is they might start avoiding you when you reach for them. So even if you're just reaching to pet them, they might start ducking avoiding you. Good boy! See, it's only been four minutes since I started filming. And he's getting in there. I think Libby's helping him. <laughs> Is your sister helping? think he's being stubborn or naughty. I think he's having emotions about this that are scary or upsetting or conflicting. See how he's getting right out of there? I'm gonna, I'm only gonna feed him in the kennel. So even if he brings his body out, I'm throwing the food in there. So he has to go back in there. So he gets the positive associations with being in the kennel. And again, this is a dog that knows how to go in the kennel. He's, he doesn't normally do this, right? He usually just goes right in there. 
and just a lot of people mistake this for naughtiness or stubborn. There's a lot of hesitation there. You know. Just, can I just sit outside of it? people might mistake this for just standing and sitting and staring at each other but he's thinking he's actively learning he's walking around he's trying to figure out what the right move is if I stick my head in will I get something if I look in there will I get something put one paw will I get something And I set my criteria ahead of time. I want, I want his whole body in there because I believe we're at a stage in training where that's possible. And walking away, like oh, some people might think, oh, he's blowing me off, but he's stressed. He's panting a little bit. His eyes are a little bit wider. This is, he's experiencing some stress here. So there's no need to scold him or hopefully you can be not mad at him and just wait for his own time so that it's less stressful in the future. And then the next thing people usually say is, well, I can't spend 10 minutes putting my dog in the kennel every time. But usually when dogs are allowed to make their own decisions, it gets faster and faster every time. So I once had a dog, well, a foster dog that um, she was terrified to get in the car. Um, so I sat and we waited for 10 minutes. She was on a long line. She was allowed to get in at her own pace. Um, and when she did, she was heavily rewarded. Um, it only took me three attempts before she just she just gets in right away now. And every attempt got faster and faster. So we went from 10 minutes to four minutes to three minutes, and now it's just she just jumps right in immediately. 